All right. Um, so this is my uh, new soap tray system. The inspiration for this is that my wife switched recently to all bars, like shampoo bar and conditioner bar. Who is to know it's a thing, but it is. Uh, so she's not using bottles of shampoo, for example. It's just, a, it looks like a soap bar. And so do you need more soap trays? And um, I didn't want to give up any of my space in the shower caddy. So I printed her this or designed this and I printed it for her. And in our case, we hook over some glass, uh, but I also made this hook that you could put onto the shower faucet, for example. Um, and everything's modular, snaps together. So if I take this hook off, I can put the glass top one on. And so this just goes over the, the, the sheet of glass and clips on. And I'm happy to uh, make other attachments for it. If you had like, for example, a wider top on your shower and you needed more space there, I can do that. And everything just snaps together. So you can put as many of these as you want, as many sections to give it length as you want and or as few as you want. And you can do it with just one bar of soap if you want. Um, so this is how it would look kind of one bar of soap and you could put a hook and it go on a lower faucet. You can also put more razor, razor heads on, uh, razor hooks on it. So the razor hook is like this. It's just got space there and another hook for like a loofah or something. And um, so it's really straightforward, connects together really well. It's quite strong once it's connected together. I really like the way I did this. This is a nice, so if you see, it's just squeeze this back together and it pulls in the hooks and those catch in on this side. If they, depending on your print tolerance, if it's a little tight, you can sometimes just push those in if they haven't completely sat down. So if you're a little tight, it might look like that. You just press it in and it'll snap in. And you can take them apart and put them together as much as you want. And uh, yeah, I think it was super success, super successful design. There's only one bit of support on the uh, spacers. It's this piece right here. And you can just snap it off. And so you're good to go. If these have fused a bit once off the print plate, just squeeze them once before you try and snap them into another part. And once they're in, they're pretty good and just squeeze to release it. So there you have it. Uh, I think it came out quite well. I know it's not for everybody, but I think the design was very successful. And I'll probably use this interconnect system again. I really like this compliance style, you know, one piece design and I know it's nothing new and everybody does it but it's kind of new to me I mean I've been doing it for a while but I, I've been doing more and more and I think the bigger kind of library of designs I have of this style the more things I can do with it and the more things I'll find to do with it and I really like making big things bigger than our print beds so that we can piece together and you know not be constrained by the size of the print bed and start to look at real world applications that are big and uh, I don't know what that's going to be but we'll find some anyways I hope that works for you let me know if it does and if you have any uh, thoughts or comments uh, or you want some other feet um, accessory to go with this I'm happy to add it to the library of uh, part components to this assembly thanks